So we got to talk about the ability to make an agreement. Now, the reason why we got to talk about this is because, right, all the New Year's resolutioners are starting to fall off, right? We're halfway through the month, or just about, right? Today's the 14th, and I'm recording this, and I'm starting to see the herd thin out a little bit. And I see this every year, right? Because, I mean, I've been in and out of gyms pretty much my entire adult life, right? And from the 1st of January, it's high peak, and the gym's really crowded, and then as time goes on, that herd starts to thin out. I got people in the tribe where they start off, they join the tribe in January, they're super excited, they're ready to go, they're on point with their diet and everything, they do good for like a week or so, a couple weeks, and start to slack off. Of course, there are those who don't slack off. Right? There are those who have the before and after pictures, the ones who are crushing it, the ones who are witnessing a transformation of their lives, their bodies, minds, and soul. So if you're slacking, I really want you to pay attention here, okay? Listen to me very closely. Your success hinges on your ability to make an agreement. Now there's two sides that you got to make an agreement to, okay? And you got to make an agreement with yourself. So as human beings, we are a duality. We have our rational mind and we have our emotional mind. We're kind of bipolar that way, right? And so most of this, the decisions that we make in our lives are usually led emotionally. We do a lot of things based on how we feel emotionally, right? You ever heard of emotional eating, right? Emotional drinking, emotional outbursts. We do things against our own best interests because emotional baggage, right? And then on the other side, there's emotional intelligence. There's logic, right? We call that the rational mind. So let's say at the beginning of the year, you said, you know what? I'm going to build muscle and cut body fat. I'm going to get strong. I'm going to develop more self-confidence. You had all of these goals and they sound wonderful. And rationally, these are very good goals. But did you, make the, did you make the agreement? Did your emotional mind and your rational mind make the agreement to go on that journey? That's the question, right? And for a lot of people, if you've been slacking and you're finding it very difficult to stay consistent on this journey, I'm gonna take a bet and say that it is because you didn't really make a solid agreement. Right? You have to make a very solid agreement. You got to be on the same page. Both sides got to be on the same page. You need internal unity. So ask yourself the questions. Rationally, it sounds good, but is that really what you want? Do you really want your abs to show? Why do you want your abs to show? Do you really want to build muscle? How much muscle? Why do you want to build that much muscle? How's it going to change your life? Right? For what? Do this for what? Why should I be so invested on doing this thing that's pretty difficult to do? Why should I be so invested on making all these changes? Do I believe that I can make these changes? If I don't believe I can make these changes, why don't I believe I can make these changes, right? You need introspection. You need self-awareness, self-discovery. Put yourself on the stand. Talk to yourself. Really work all that stuff out. And you gotta do this daily. You gotta reaffirm the agreement. You gotta remind yourself of the agreement. Because emotionally, some days you're gonna feel like, I don't feel like doing it today. But you gotta remind yourself of the agreement. You said, right? You said, it's like having, it's like being your own accountability partner. But you said, right? So a while back I made a video about internalized and externalized accountability. Internalized accountability is where you hold yourself accountable. Externalized accountability is where you require a figure of authority to hold you accountable. Kind of blurring out here. What's going on with the camera? Let's let it focus. Okay. <clears throat> so, think about that for a second, right? And the thing is, just a quick recap on internal versus external accountability, right? We were born and raised into a society where all the accountability comes from an external figure of authority. 
So when I talk about self-development, understand that self-development empowers you with this magical thing called internalized accountability. Because when you have personal goals that are mainly just important to you, nobody else is going to care. People may pat you on the back when you lost all the body fat. When you built the muscle, they say, man, good job. I'm proud of you. But if you slack, they're fine with that too. Because no one's going to care about your personal goals as much as you. So there's no external figure that's really going to help you. It's on you. So as the coach, as the tribe coach, as the guy with the path, the solutions, this, the, the, the very valuable suggestions, right? The life-changing solutions and suggestions. I can't force you to be consistent. Even if you join the tribe, you decide to participate in my coaching. I can only show you what to do. I can only show you the way, right? You heard the phrase, can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's up to you to decide that you're going to be consistent. It's up to you to make the agreement. I'm just making you aware that this agreement needs to be made.